In this video, we're going to have a look at the messages section on the NHS app. So once you've signed in and you're on the home page, you'll see in the bottom right corner the messages icon. You can tap there or on the main menu section in the middle of the screen, you'll see view your messages. You can tap on either one of them and it will take you through to the messages page. If you have any mess here, you'll be able to view messages from the NHS app any connected healthcare providers or your GP surgery if it's a service that they offer and if you've signed up to the GP online services. Just tap the home button again and that takes you back to the main page. If you have any messages, the view messages here will be highlighted in red and on the messages at the bottom of the screen there'll be a little red circle with a number in the number corresponding to how many messages you have to view so again we'll tap on the messages at the bottom tap on there and this will give you a breakdown where your messages are from as you can see here we've had a message from the NHS app so this is an old message as it's in blue if it was a new message which we hadn't read, it would be displayed in red. So you tap on it, tap on it to open it, and then there'll be a list of messages from that provider. As we can see here, it was the welcome message from the NHS app. So you just tap on it to open the message, and then you can read through. This one just giving information about what you can do on the NHS app. And if you want to go back from a message, the top left corner there, just tap where it says go back. And that will take you to the messages from the NHS app or whichever provider that you're looking at. And if you want to go back to the main one, the main option menu, tap back again. And then you can tap back again will take you to the main messages option screen. So there's a total of five messaging services that you can get messages from. Health service messages. So that's the NHS app messaging service. Like I said before, if your GP surgery has the service available and you've signed up to the online GP services, you may get messages from them. There will also be messages maybe messages relating to consultations and events, online consultations. And you can also ask your GP surgery a question through the messaging app. You will typically, typically get a response either through the app via a text message or a phone call. If it's a text message or through the app, you won't be able to reply directly to the message. You'll just need to send another message to them regarding that topic. Messaging service through the NHS app is a reliable and secure way to get information you might usually get through text messages or letters. So it's sent directly through to you via your NHS number. So they don't need a mobile phone number to get messages. And you also know that it's from a verified source. So it's great to use if you're worried about scams you know the message will be genuine if it's through this service. Once you're finished with the messages, in the top left corner, you can just tap the home icon and that will take you back to the main page. And that covers the messaging on the NHS app.